Hey foodies, in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to make chicken, especially during the summertime when I don't feel like cooking outside because it feels like 102 degrees, but I still want that barbecue. I'm gonna be making a barbecue jerk chicken. I'm gonna be using G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, and I'm going to be using chicken legs, and of course, a slow cooker. So I have soaked my chicken legs for about 30 minutes in water, kosher salt, and vinegar. They are all ready to go. My slow cooker is on high, and I'm going to start to add my chicken legs to the slow cooker. I filled it up just to make sure that I can get all of that chicken in there, and then I removed some. So you're gonna be like, oh, why did she take some chicken out? It's because I wanna season in layers. I'm not going to season this chicken very heavily because like I said, jerk sauce. Just keep that in mind. So to my chicken, I'm going to start off by adding some barbecue spices. And this is just a general barbecue spice blend. I believe it has like garlic and onion powder with like a little bit of smoke flavor. I'm also going to add a little bit of kosher salt. I don't want to overly salt anything because I'm adding pre-made sauces. So I typically like to add any extra salt at the end. Next, I added some minced garlic. Garlic is always best when you mince it yourself, obviously, but sometimes we have to cut corners. And then a little bit of that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add the next layer of chicken legs on there, kind of compact it. And then we're gonna do the same thing all over again. So once again, barbecue seasonings, some minced garlic, and that barbecue sauce. I'm going to put that lid on and let this cook on high for about an hour. After an hour, you can see I've reached a rapid boil and that is partially due to me putting that cast iron skillet on top and I'm doing that to weigh down the lid so that I have a little bit of a pressure cooking effect. I just really was hungry and I wanted to cook this as fast as possible, but you can see how much juice I have. I didn't add any water or broth to this pot. It's literally just the chicken legs and the barbecue sauce that you saw. So I'm gonna transfer those legs onto a sheet tray lined with some foil. You can also just use some of that nonstick cooking spray. And I'm going to roast the chicken legs. Obviously they are fully cooked. They are tender, but now I need to crisp them up because I don't know about you, but I don't care for boiled chicken. My oven has been preheating at 350 degrees. I don't even really go by time for this process. I want to say at least 15 minutes, but I go by the look. I just want it to be brown and beautiful and crispy. I want some good color. You can also add sliced onions. You can do peppers. I have all of this liquid and this is liquid gold right now. I'm going to transfer this to a pan so that I can reduce it at a quicker pace than it would typically reduce in the slow cooker. So you can see me bringing this liquid up to a boil and yes, it is going to get thick. It is going to get rich. We still have that garlic that you can see in there. Some chicken pieces in there. I actually love that for whatever reason. So you can see my chicken looks gorgeous, okay. <laughs> it is golden, it is absolutely beautiful. Now this is the jerk sauce that I'm going to be using. And yes, it's like the official official. But I'm going to add a little bit of that, just a little bit of it to my barbecue reduction sauce. And then let the two cook down together until I have a consistency of a regular barbecue sauce. I can drizzle that over the chicken and then season it a little bit more. I'm going to do some garlic powder and onion powder. At this point, if you feel the need to add a little bit of salt, I don't know why you want to add pepper, but you can, you can. <laughs> I'm going to roast that for about 10 minutes or until the chicken has browned on top and that sauce is sticky. And then I just added some green onions just because it's gorgeous. And this is amazing. And yes, you can add that jerk sauce into the slow cooker while you are slow cooking that chicken. But if you prefer a milder flavor with a focus on that barbecue sauce like I do, then this is the method that you would use. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you give it a try. Bye foodies. Don't forget to check out my website, mauritiuscouturecakes.com and my other links, my social media. 
it'll be in the description. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one.